Hello everyone, so welcome back to the level coding. So in today's video, we're going to focus on building the UI right here. So it is a block section that we mainly going to focus on building the block card right here. All right, so let's get started. So here I'm using VS Code, so you can use any ticket that you want. And this is just a boilerplate from Create React Apps. And I'm using Wheat and I have set up Tailwind already. And for the starter right here, you can go into GitHub description and can clone that. So you will have the static data that we have right here. And it's pretty simple. It's going we have the core image, the title of uh, the image, and also all the image right here, we are getting from the young flash. All right, so inside the Tailwind right here, I have in also installed the plugin, which is from the aspect ratios that we're gonna work with with the image. So the initials, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on building the card right here. And after that, we're going to focus on the layout. So let's do that. So going back into app.jsx right here, what I can do is to inside this, this right here, I can render our block. So it's going to be blocks.maps. And inside here, we're going to have the block and then we're going to have the index. And then we can return. And we have the diff right here. So inside here, what I can do is from, as of now, I'm going to do width 96 and the height 100. You probably do not have the height 100, but if you go into the Tailwind config right here, I have set up the height 100 to 28 and the width 90 to 22. All right. So this one, and then let's go with the BG black right here. So if we go back inside here, we have uh, the two three div stay on top of each other that's why we can see right here so what we can do we can try to do the crit and then we're gonna do crit call to three and then let's do some gaps and then let's do some patterns p5 right here as well very nice so right now we have this three cut right here and let's add some image to this one so the, the image there's two ways that you can do you can add as a background or for my case right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put the image instead and I'm not i'm not gonna do the background and for the disk right here, we need the key is going to be indexed as well. All right. So let's add the image. And for our image is we're going to have the diff right here. And then we're going to do our image. And we have the source. The source is going to be blocks.cover image right here. And if we go back, so right now we have our image, but we want an image to fill up the entire diff. So the way that we do that is we're going to have the going to use the aspect ratio the width is to one and the aspect ratio height to one as well and right now we have this one so it still not fills the entire um diff so let's do height full right here so right now it's to fill this the entire diff right here but as you can see the image is distorted and it's not looking good so the way to fix that you can go into the image right here and then we well, what you can do you can do the object cover and then object position is going to be center. And so as you can see, our image quality is looks better. So um, the next thing is what we wanted to do is we going to add the content inside here. So um, I'm going to break it down and split the content and so we can see this one. So right now we have this one and for the diff for this one is going to diff that whole of our content. And for that, we can do the position is going to be absolute with full. And then we're going to do the height full. And so right now, if let's do the BG black, we see that. So if we go back right here, it's maybe failed because when we absolute right here, we want to stay inside our cat. So that's why for this cat right here, we need to do the relative. So right now it's there uh, on this one. And then we're going to do the up zero as well. So that's why we have this. We're going to have this one. Ah, uh, I think the BG block, I missed this one. Nice. So right now we have our this right here. So let's add the content. So the way that we put the content is we doing this one. So the first is uh, I like to use the flag to split the content in two. And then so that we have, we can have our content stay on the bottom. So we have our div right here. So we're going to have the two div right here. And the first one is going to be flex one. And this one is going to be do flex one as well. So, but for that, we need to do some flex. And then we're going to do flex call for this one. So the way that flex one does is going to take the entire space. Uh, let's say whatever available space is going to take. So we're going to, when we do flex one, both of this one, it's going to take the, uh, as a sub 
between that so let's do that so let's i'm gonna show you background this one and let's do background blue 200 so you can see we have to separate uh div right here so the content will stay in here and for the content inside here i'm gonna try to split it in another two uh, as well so let's do that so and we're gonna have our div and we're gonna have our div one more here and same thing for this one we're gonna do flex one and for that to work we have to do flex and then flex calls and then let's do the class names this one and then this one is gonna be i'm not gonna uh, we, yeah we can do another flex one and then we'll just do beachy let's say for now as yellow 300 okay so you can see this is where we're gonna put our contents inside right here so this is how the way that i split the the, the the div and the content of it all right so which is really nice so right now what we can do is we can try to remove this background right here and this background right here as well and also this background and this is where i am going to write uh the content of uh, of a card right here so it's safe and one last thing we need to remove the background black as well all right so let's go here we're gonna have the date and we have the author image and author names so first so we're gonna have the h1 right here which is gonna hold the block dot publish date and then we're gonna have another one which is gonna hold the image of this one so we can since we i'm going to use the aspect ratio i'm going to do another div right here and then we can put our image uh which is going to be all right so we go here so this one is going to be a source it's going to be block dot author image so right now if we go back very nice we can have this one and so we're going to do the aspect ratio uh, with one aspects one as well and then what we can do is we're going to do round it this one is going to be too full so right now we're going to have the, the circles around the image but the image is look distortioned and so we're going to do the same thing as image cover and then also object center as well really nice but the image right now is really large so we're going to shrink down the width and height of it a little bit so with that i'm going to wrap up with this div and then we can set the width of this one so width is going to be nine and then height also nine as well so as you can see we go back we have a smaller image right here really nice and also beside the image we are going to have the name of the author it's going to be block dot author that's last name so right now we have our content right here but it's not aligning correctly let's do that so with this one we can do just do class name and then flex and then we're going to do item center so you can see we have this one and for the image and the author name we're going to do the same thing we're going to do flex item center but for the date and the author info is we're going to do justify between so as you can see right here and also for the author name and this one right here we can do some gap of two and also for our div right here i'm gonna do p10 so we have some patterns around it so as you can see right now it looks way better nice so one last thing on this one is we going to have our um, title so we can have the h1 below right here we're gonna do block title and voila so with this one you can do text to excel and font is going to be semi bold and looks so right now everything is done but as you can see we have our color contrast is not readable so the way that we solve the contrast color contrast right here we go to the parent which is right here we can do bg gradient let's do bg gradient to top i mean like from top to bottom and then we can just do from blacks right here so you can see we have color blacks the bottom half right here and then we can just change the color to our text and then for our text and user info and the date right here we can just do type gray 300 and then for our title right here we can just do text to white nice so right now as you can see we set up our con color contrast properly all right so but as you can see uh I, what i want is to edit see it did not start um, properly so with this alignment it's i think the space i think for this one i shouldn't do 
the flex one right here. So I, what I can do, I can remove this one. So as you can see at the bottom right here, it's, it's equally the same. So you can see, which is what I want. So right now we have this one. So what we can do, we can separate the space between these two right here. And the way that we do that, we can just do the empty file to the title. So you can see we have separate a little bit of space between these two. Nice. So right now we have finished our cut. Uh, I think maybe one last thing that I wanted to do is whenever we hover our cut right here. So this is our cut. So let's do hover. We're going to do ring four, and then we're going to do rings yellow 400. So you can see we have this one. And also we're going to do some uh, rounded to two excels. And but the image is this one should be go for the image. So let's go with the rounded 2XL as well. So you can see we have this one, but our scenes, uh, we have the last thing. So the bottom here is not correct. So we should do another rounded 2XL to this one as well. It's going to be rounded 2XL. And right now, voila, everything is done. All right, so right now our cut is finished. Let's focus on the container and the background, as you can see right here. So let's go back here. I think the first thing first that we can do is we can try to split this one and put it as a component. So I'm going to go with the component. And then inside component right here, we're going to do the block cut.jsx. And then I can paste this one. And then for the index right here, we do not have. And then for the props right here, we can just pass block. And then right here, we can just import the block cut. And then we can just pass the block as a prop. And then we need to have a key for this one as well. It's going to be the index right here. So right now, everything just work as expected the way it is. So for our parents right here, we can just do width full and then height to screen. Oh, now we can just do min by instead. So min height to screen. And for the background of this one, we're going to do background gradient as well. It's going to be background gradient to top. And then we're going to do from blacks to gray 900. So you can see we have this really nice background right here, but we're going to move everything here to the bottom, so to the center. But the way that we do that, we can just do flex, justify center, and then we can do item center. So you can see everything is moved to the center. And for the parents of the div right here, let's, uh, for our crit, I can just uh, set the max height for this one. It's going to be max width to six excels and then we're going to do the mx auto and let's do gap of this one is going to be 32 so the gap is oh no the gap it should be applied to the crit right here uh let's do 32 right here and i can remove the pad inside right here okay so right now everything is working as expected and then we can just have the title and then no, not a title, but yeah, the random title. It's going to be H272. And then we can have the H1, which is random title. And then we can have the paragraph right here. I can copy and paste this one. And everything, this one is going to be text center. And then it's going to be text wise as well. Uh, and then for the this one, uh, what we can do is to have the text to 4XL and then going to put fun bowl. And if we go back, all right, really nice thing. And then we're going to go with the text center. And then for this one, it's going to be text to XL. And then we're going to do empty pie. All right, so right now we have everything is ready. The next thing is we wanted to do is we want to make it responsive. So the way that we do going to do responsive is if you inspect this one, as you can see, everything is not working properly and let's fix that. So um, this one is for the LG up and then for the SM up, we can just do crit calls two. So when we go on the smaller screen, we can go with to crit call one. And if we go back here right now, we have this one, but we have to somehow scroll bar right here, which because of the content of our width right here. So first of all, with this one, I can just do P5. So for the text right here, but it's, it's it look, uh, the width right here is still wrong. 
So the way we do that, we go back to our block card and we can try to change this one. So with the SM we can do right here, but we can do just width 90 when we're on a smaller screen. There you go. And to make it center, you can just do um X auto. Uh, I think uh, this one, let's just do um X auto. Okay. I think it's still wrong as well. If we go back in here, let's actually remove the B5 right here and see. Okay, so you can see right now, we have uh, our div is uh, inside it and it's looked properly aligned. Very nice. We go back in here. I think probably this one should be go with the Excel. So with the crit right here, you can just try to play around uh, with your content right here when you should do the break. And so I think for me, this is should be fine. And we go on the smaller screen and we have this one as well. And on the larger screen, we have something like this. All right, so I think that's pretty much it, guys, for this video. Hopefully you like this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video as well. All right, so see you in the next video. Bye-bye.